welcome on board the van for today's drive along here in Guernsey in the Channel Islands. Just turning left, uh, leaving the row haze, going through some lanes, and we end up at the west coast. So, welcome on board, welcome along. If you're new to the channel, this channel is dedicated to living on the island of Guernsey, and I show everything that's going on on the island. So, if you're interested in that sort of thing, you're going to like a lot more of the videos on the channel. So, have a look round. And uh, speed limit is 25 along here. Quite a small road. As many of you know, I drive a Ford Transit, so I'm not in the smallest car there is. It's a big van, so it really tests your driving skills. You've got to mount the pavement quite a few times up and down. So, I hope everyone's doing well. And uh, if you've visited the channel before, welcome back. Great drive along today, showing off the island, uh, just talking about the driving conditions, places of interest as we drive past, as we usually do. So uh, we're going to turn left here, filter and turn system. Whoever whoever gets there first goes. Everyone has equal priority. So that car goes, then I go. Take a bit of getting used to if you're not used to them. And we're heading down. So as I mentioned, we're heading towards the west coast. So um, not many main roads with quite a few lanes today. So you can have a, a good look round at the houses and uh, the types of cars we have here in Guernsey. You'll probably notice that um, if you are watching this and you live in the United Kingdom, there's tend to be smaller cars on the roads, I'd say. When I have visited the UK, I've noticed that um, there's just bigger cars, like estate cars and things like that. You don't tend to get those in Guernsey. Purely, I think, just because the roads are a lot smaller and they can be quite challenging to drive. So you'll probably see a smaller type of car on the island, same as Jersey, um, because they're just more practical. The Fiat 500s, the little cars, uh, they're tiny little cars, the Fiat 500s, they were really popular in Guernsey. There was like They were everywhere a few years ago. I don't know if they're as popular now, but they were so practical, very small, quite stylish cars. Uh, my wife's got one. I used to have the Fiat 500 R bath, which is like the sportier version, but uh, change it to a van. A lot more room for carrying things in the back. Off we go, straight on. So as we go, um, if you notice anywhere in Guernsey, so I drive past, let me know if you've visited on holiday or you've uh, recognised anywhere in particular of a story, leave a comment, I love reading them. Or even if I drive past your house, which I tend to do a lot of the time, or if it's your old house, let me know as well. So heading towards the yellow line. Now you'll see here that um, when I get to the end of this road, we get a lot of mirrors. What I mean by that is we have mirrors on poles because the roads are quite tight and you can't all see around the corner. Uh, we have loads of them. We have loads and loads I'll show you. So I think that's one here actually. So if you look, just look straight ahead, see the 25 zone sign just above it. Uh, this one you cannot see anything from your right. So you rely heavily on the mirror. You do have to check as well. But um, it gives you a little bit of an idea if anything's coming. So it's 25 miles per hour each way. Maximum speed limit is 35 in Guernsey. Off we go. Now this road in particular is quite tight. Um, because I've been down here loads of times. Just passing the Fricky Hotel on the left. As you can see, tight road no overtaking whatsoever around here now sometimes you do have to mount the cave pavement but you do have to stop you shouldn't shouldn't really drive along the pavement if you do you have to be very very careful and drive at a very low speed obviously because for pedestrians there's a three-wheeler bike there do you see that <laughs> never driven one of that I've driven what am I on about or never river ridden a three-wheeler bike. I'll get my words out in a minute. Now you see the speed limit gets back up to 35. So if the road conditions are clear, we can get a bit of speed up. 
filter and turn system. I turn right. Remember, if you've got any questions about driving in Guernsey, let me know. Any questions to do with driving or pretty much anything. Oh, this is tight here. Big boss. Round we go. Quite a lot of higher cars on the island now. And um, if you're not sure how you recognise a higher car, it's very simple. There's a H on it. I think it may be the same in the UK. Or as the locals fondly name them, horror cars. <laughs> because um, I think they cause a bit of disruption sometimes. People not sure where they're driving and things like that. But uh, you have to be patient with higher cars. Especially as I mentioned before, um, if you meet some higher cars at a filter in turn, uh, you do just have to be patient because sometimes they're unaware of how a filter in turn system works or they think it means something else, which is completely understandable. So um, sometimes you just have to wave a higher car on at a filter or just be, if they use it incorrectly, don't worry too much because um, they're just learning probably about the filters. Follow it round to the right. So follow that boss. If you turn left there, it does take you to the coast as well. So who so this is route uh, this is a Hoog de Pommier road. Or Rue de Hoog de Pommier. And uh, the Hoog de Pommier Hotel is just on the right and I've noticed it's closed. Not sure why, I could take a guess. So the boss stopped, just picking up some people here. And I love our bosses. Can you see on the back of the boss? They've got rainbows and in the mid and in the middle it says says stay safe. Very nice. And I've just got like I think it's a some sort of mini boss or school boss to the left, so I'm just gonna let them out as well. States of Guernsey. So it looks like it's some type of shuttle bus. Another small road along here. So we're going to end the video at Kobo Butchers. So if you've ever watched any of my other videos, you'll know there's a beach, a really nice beach in Guernsey called Kobo Bay on the west coast. And just slightly down from that beach is Kobo Butchers. I would thoroughly recommend it. Great butchers got my turkey there for Christmas I go in there a lot for bits and pieces great butchers and we go round to the left zebra crossing Keep an eye out. and there's Orms care home on the right I think it's still a care home and we have the school on the left. Those new minis are very popular in Guernsey. And we have another filter and turn. And we are heading towards Cobra Butchers. You can see if you're those bosses have uh Got to be pretty skilled to drive a boss in Guernsey because they, they're pretty big for the size of the roads, I must admit. He's turning right. So, just on the right, there's Grand Rock Garage. There's Grand Rock Beach, it's just at the end here. And uh, yeah, this road, at the end of the road, we are on the west coast. So, hope you enjoyed the drive along. Gives you a little insight into driving. Remember, if you did like this drive along, uh, have a look around the vi uh, channel because there's loads of drive alongs hundreds of them I think now and if you do like the stuff think about subscribing so we have I'm going to show you Kobo Butchers Kobo Butchers just on the right where that car is reversing out of the silver car 
just on the right that's the car park for Cobra Butchers well as usual thanks for watching click the screen to watch another video and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you next time take care